I say the other cross, and it's from if Sika, and it features Ma Cynthia, and she's here to promote the song. But then we'll get to know her more. She's worked as a backing vocalist for many gospel artists in the music space, and she has great passion for music. And this afternoon, she has joined us on the table of life. Good afternoon, Ifia. Good afternoon. It's good to have you here. It's my pleasure. Okay, so let, let's start. I've, I've already said you've meant you you were a backing vocalist. You've worked with numerous of artists, yeah. especially Daughters of Glorious Jesus. Yes, that's, sure. that's a big deal. But then briefly tell us about yourself and when you started music. Okay, thank you so much. Um, if you guys an upcoming gospel minister, um, I started singing in my infancy, but professionally um, three years ago. Okay. Yes, so I was raised in Obuasi in the Ashanti region. Okay. Yes, and relocated to Accra because of um, marriage. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I've been doing the music for professionally for three like years. Three years. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And I released my first single in 2021. Yes. And second in the ending of 2021. Okay. And yeah. the third one just. just yeah. Yes. Is it that you enjoyed being a BV so much that you didn't want to start your own career? that early that just three years ago you started um you know actually um you have to serve yeah yes mm -hmm. i believe in seven mm -hmm. okay and i also look up to our mothers mm -hmm. not um mm -hmm. talk about the daughters alone yeah. but yeah. those who have gone ahead of us and you can also attest to the fact that we have time for everything it's yes amazing. there is time for everything there is time and seasons for everything so I believe um, this is the time that I have to come out, so mm. that is why. So yeah. how did the relationship between yourself and Daughters of Glorious Jesus start? Come again, sorry. The relationship between yourself and Daughters of Glorious Jesus, how did it start? How did they even choose you in the first place? Okay, so since my infancy, my dad is a music tutor. Okay. So normally when songs come out, when we were little, he buy the CDs and then we'd be listening. So I was really listening to Dozens of Glorious Jesus when I was young. And then, I think when around 2026, I had an invitation for a program. And when I went, I met them. And so I approached Ma Cynthia and okay. I told her how much I loved her and how much I wanted her to mentor me. So that is how the relationship started. So I was though, you know, Boise, but then when they are having any major program, they will call me to come to Accra, and then I'll go back. So that is how it started. Yeah. Okay. And how has that experience been it's so been far? It's been awesome. It's been awesome. It's all written on your face. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when, when yeah. she says she, it's been awesome. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. They, they've been supportive, mm. like, spiritually, um, the music wise, mm -hmm. they've been there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'll say it's been awesome. But you know, Nana, we've never asked the this question that B BVs, are they paid when when they are they do the backing vocals for these artists? Do you yeah. get paid? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes, we are paid. Mm. We are paid. I always thought because you always say it's seven. Yeah, you're seven, you're seven, really so they don't really and everything. Actually, get paid. some charge for BVN. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, some charge. Okay. Yes, some charge for BVN. But for me, um, mine is that I'm seven, yeah. so I don't actually you wanted to. Yes, yeah. I wanted yeah. to. Yes, yeah. so I don't actually yeah. charge. Okay. So three years into the music space uh, is a lot. You've said you've shared that um, you had the opportunity to be with Daughters of Glorious Jesus. So uh, spiritually, you said you said they helped you and everything. But aside them, how has the journey been in the music space since you started three years ago? There's always challenges. You overcome it and everything. So briefly tell us how the three years has been for you. Okay, thank you. It hasn't been easy, okay? You know, the word of the Lord says that he never promised us that the journey will be, mm -hmm. will be easy. But he said that in the midst of the storm, he would be with us. Yes, yeah, so when the challenges come, we pray and then we overcome it and then we continue. And it's been smoothly, but it's, it, it's not going as expected. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I trust that as time goes on, yes, it will pick it will up pick and up. then, yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, I said, BV, I'm getting in your church when you perform your song, you have mad fans there. But stepping out into the music space, how has the acceptance been since you started being on your own, dropping your own music, and like writing your own songs and bringing them out? How has it been? Okay, um, I think it's a gradual process. So they are accepting me. That's, that's the brand of Yes, okay. I, I see much improvements compared to three years ago. Yeah. Yes, so... It's been good. Yes, it's been, it's been well. good. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. So let's good. talk about uh, Asindia, the okay. cross. Why? Okay. Why Asindia? <laughs> or is it because you're getting to Easter? <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much. You know, actually, the song I released it um, last year when I was doing uh, my major concerts. Mm -hmm. That was my maiden program. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I recorded it live. Mm -hmm. And then, because of certain things, I couldn't release it yet last year. Mm -hmm. So, as the season is approaching, that is the Easter, I yeah. said, then this is a good time for me to release it. And the cross, as India, as children of God, yes, we know how important um, the cross is for us as children of God. And it, it came from a place of meditation. Okay. Yeah, so one of the mornings when I was done with my morning devotion, I was just thinking of how much Christ loved his church. And the church is not the building. The church is the people. Yeah. Yes, how he loved us and he, he gave his only begotten son for yeah. us. Even when we were yet sinners. You know how men we are. Yeah. We, we, are drawn to, we are drawn to people when they are doing us good. But that is the difference between man and God. When we were yet sinners, yeah. he came. So I was just pounding on it and it started dropping. Asindia, Asindia. So it, it came with a chorus and then yeah. I started praying and developing it. So, yeah, okay. yes. Let me ask this. The way you are so passionate talking about Christ, how has your, your relationship been with him? Um, ever since you, 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 you learned about Christ, ever since you believed that he is the, the son and he is the savior, how has your relationship been with him? It's been amazing. Okay. It's been amazing. And also sometimes you do not understand what happens because the word of the Lord says that his ways are not our ways and yeah. ours are not his. Okay, so sometimes... You get overwhelmed with life circumstances and yeah. certain things. But then he gave us a promise that he will never leave us, not forsake us. Yeah. So we believe in that, his word, yes, the, the, the potency of his word. And so we are confident that he, he is even with us, even in the midst of the storm. So it's been amazing. Wow. Yes. So Asindia is on all platforms. Yes. Yes, yeah. please. It's on okay. all platforms. Okay. So uh, after Asindia... Other projects will be coming up before the year ends. Yes, I made, yes, I recorded one with um, also Pastor Isaiah Fusukwache. Okay. Yeah, so I will be I will be releasing it um, when this one is done. I'll be releasing the other song. Okay. Um, if you are, we wish you nothing but the best. Thank you um, so much. We are so much. glad you came to the studio sh to share with us your experience and everything. I'm grateful. Yeah. Thank, Thank you for having for you. me. Yeah. Thank you so yes. much. Okay. <laughs>